A true unmanned aircraft system is very intelligent, both on its own as well as with the human that's controlling it. The biggest challenge right now is the coming together of the unmanned aircraft systems industry and the Federal Aviation Administration. Before 2012, people looked at unmanned aircraft systems more as radio-controlled hobby-type aircraft than the intelligence systems that they really are. Congress basically told the FAA that they uh, were charged with having full integration of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace system by 2025. That's the goal. A nine years full integration. So a drone could actually crash with an aircraft carrying people? Legally, we're only allowed to fly them up to 400 feet above the ground in most cases. But the aircraft do have the potential to go tens of thousands of feet. And actually, there's been some close calls with manned aircraft because people flying them irresponsibly, not understanding the laws, just the way flight instructors for manned aircraft uh, do their jobs. We're teaching people uh, how to fly so that they can uh, obtain their licenses and become FAA licensed unmanned aircraft operators. You want to get started with the flight portion of our course? Uh, yes! Awesome! So right now it's calibrating the camera on the gimbal. It's very easy for the aircraft to end up flying away on its own without the operator understanding what they did wrong. Some of the things that people do that are big mistakes, mm -hmm. they rush out and they start to fly before that map establishes a home point and the mm -hmm. GPS comes on. That's what sometimes will lead to those flyaways. But the camera underneath can have a full 330 degrees basically on mm -hmm. all axes to look around and, and view things or film things. What in your view is the biggest challenge for this industry? The FAA's biggest concern is safety. You know, they have thousands of aircraft uh, carrying people uh, in the skies every day. So should we be regulating the manufacturer just like the Food and Drug Administration says you can't put that out in the market? Manufacturers are integrating different safeguards into both their software as well as the hardware of these systems. So they're integrating anti-collision sensors into the aircraft that will prevent them from flying into objects that they shouldn't be, be it a stationary object or potentially a moving object. They're also integrating into their software specific lines of code that will prevent an aircraft from flying into an area uh, that it shouldn't be flying. Well, the biggest use right now from a commercial standpoint is uh, aerial photography and videography or film. The construction industry and engineering industries uh, are using it for aerial mapping, site planning. So what is the future? So obviously the big goal is using unmanned aircraft for aerial delivery. Companies like Amazon and UPS want to use the aircraft and they're developing their own custom aircraft to deliver packages to people uh, right to their homes. That's something that's going to take a lot of advancement, both on the part of the technology as well as on the regulations. The FAA is going to have to recognize that in order to do that, these aircraft are going to need to fly beyond line of sight and fly largely autonomously.